Eagles, it is my absolute honor to sing to you a song about the most beloved food in the whole entire world. The burrito, the burrito is awesome and is so good to eat. The burrito, the burrito is filled with good things to eat. Hang on tight. Pay very, very, very close attention. Take some of our leftover brisket. Next, we're getting out some, some smoked chicken. Let's start chopping. So we'll take the pulled pork and do the same thing with the pork that we did with the brisket. Just chop it up fine. This is hand pulled pork. And so there's some longer strands. We want to make sure we get those heat off the bone. Long strands cut up. Cut that out. We don't want too much that in here. This is good for the ribs. That gives us the full competition circuit of meats. Chicken, ribs, pork, and brisket. All the hard work is over. Good job, Kulina. So we're gonna turn the heat on. We're gonna cook up some chopped up brisket and pork, as well as some chopped up chicken and rib meat. We're going to get this warmed up. Again, this is equal parts chopped brisket, chopped pulled pork, chopped chicken, and chopped baby back ribs. It's going to heat this through. Going to add some of our seasoning mix. Make sure we're not lacking on flavor. And I'll we'll add some of our homemade barbecue sauce. Probably about a half cup total there. But I do want to get a little bit of char on this meat just to add some extra texture and some of that extra charred flavor. Things that are going to go into our burrito are mac and cheese, our smokehouse beans, we're going to do some crumbled cornbread, and I think we might actually add in some of our homemade candied jalapenos. I think that would add a great accompaniment to the, the richness of this burrito. So now I'm going to show you something that I learned on YouTube a little trick which is actually kind of cool for for someone like myself that does not know how to make a burrito <laughs> um, what I got here are just submission uh, the extra large super soft burritos I'd prefer to have a thinner burrito but it's the best I can do for right now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna warm it up okay I was Told or learned that the gluten in the burrito if it's served without being warmed up is a little stiff so it won't be as pliable so we're gonna warm that up and then once it gets warm on that one side we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna sprinkle some cheddar cheese on there and that cheddar cheese is gonna start to melt and it'll serve two purposes one you'll have melted cheese and two it will help as a sealant or a binder to the stuffing that's inside the burrito Here is our cowboy candy. This is our pickled jalapenos. So we're gonna put some of the jalapenos in and sprinkle just a little bit of juice inside as well. All right, let's take a look at our burrito. And as you can see, it's starting to brown, so we're gonna flip it over. Immediately put some cheddar cheese in there. Let that start melting a little bit. Right, and as you can see, the burrito, the cheese has started to melt. And we will assemble the burrito now. 
All right, here we go. Take this off, set that down. First thing, get our four meat barbecue mixture. Put in about, I'd say that's probably, uh, let's see, that's probably three quarters of a cup. Let's go just a little bit more. There we go. <coughs> and we're gonna add some mac and cheese. Gonna add our candied jalapenos, also known as cowboy candy, with a little bit of the juice. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right, and next, we're going to crumble some cornbread on. That'll soak up some of the juices, which will be nice. And then, one of the last things if I can find the other spoon, is our smokehouse beans. One of our most popular side dishes. All right, so there's that. Now, the key is to fold. So let's see, let's see how this goes. All right, so in, up, Fold over tight. All right, one more time. This time we're just going to put the cheddar cheese in the tortilla. There it is, perfect burrito. All right, so let's cut into it. Let's first see what it looks like here. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Oh, wow, that looks good. All right. I mean, that is just jam-packed with barbecue goodness. All right, so let's give it a taste here. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. All the best of the meats and the top side dishes all coming together into one. Boy, that's good. Again, you want to know what to do with leftovers from a either a competition or a catering event or just a backyard picnic where you got your meats and your sides and you got leftovers and you don't know what to do with them this is the perfect answer enjoy we'll see you again soon i got smokehouse barbecue